Hi there music fans and something absolutely amazing happened to me today. I got a phone call from the legendary Shadows rhythm guitarist Bruce Welch. Yes, he rang me on my mobile. I could not believe it. Um, we had a, a 20 minute conversation which was completely surreal and I still have to pinch myself that it actually did happen. I can't believe it actually happened and it's all thanks to... Um, a mutual friend on Facebook actually organized it for um, Bruce to actually ring me. <laughs> and um, I'm still buzzing from it. And um, yeah, 20, uh, 21 minutes and 26 seconds to be precise because um, I checked it on my phone afterwards. Um, I was talking to the legend that is Bruce Welch. And yeah, we discussed Cliff. Of course, he told me that uh, he was at Cliff's recent tour, the Blue Sapphire tour, and he thought it was uh, Cliff never sounded... Um, as great and um, looked amazing, sounded amazing, and um, it's one of the, his favorite Cliff gigs that he's been to in recent years. Um, so it's a lot for him to say that. And I actually asked him what his favorite Cliff Richard track was, and to my surprise, he said "Honky Tonk Angel." Um, he absolutely loves that track, and um, he produced that for for Cliff and he, he gave a mention to another beautiful song from the I'm Nearly Famous album a song called Lovers he said that's one of his favourites as well so that's really interesting as well that um, he, he picked out them two particular songs um, you'd nearly expect him to say Devil Woman or Miss Unites or We Don't Talk Anymore um, but um, he said um, Lovers and um, Honky Tonk Angel which was a big surprise. Now, when I came to ask him what his favorite Shadows track was, he couldn't give me an answer. Um, he was thinking for a bit, and he, he literally couldn't give me an answer. Um, I'm sure he's he's proud of so many of the hits that they had through the years. And also, we we talked a lot about um, the Eagles, who who he's a big fan of, and that's his passion now. He's a big Eagles fan. He's been an Eagles fan. He told me how he got into the Eagles back in 1972, sitting on a beach in Florida and um, yeah it's just absolutely amazing I told him that I shared the stage with Brian Nicholas Locken 10 years ago this year I got to share a stage with Brian Nicholas Locken and I had to share my story about Team for Young Lovers when Nicholas took out their harmonica and played on their harmonica f um, for me personally um, so that was amazing enough but to actually get a phone call from Bruce Welch there's only three guys that I ever wanted to meet in my life I met a lot of celebrities working in the airport there's only three really that I really wanted to meet uh, one is Cliff of course the other is Hank and the other one is Bruce they're, they're my three heroes and um, I never get, got to meet um, Hank or Bruce but I did meet Cliff back in 2018 which I told um which I told Bruce about. I said I met him at his vineyard. And to my surprise, Bruce was never at Cliff's vineyard as well. So there's a bit of, yeah, he, he said he never visited the vineyard. He never even been to it. Um, and also, he hasn't got a copy of Cliff's new album, which he's waiting for his free copy as well, because that features a new version of one of uh, his biggest songs, Summer Holiday, which he wrote for Cliff, and there's a new version of that which Bruce hasn't heard yet. So, um, um, he says he has to get a copy of that at the hearing when he's waiting on his free copy. Um, so anyway, just absolutely amazing again. And the person you know who you are yourself, thank you so much for organizing that today. It was absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I spoke to Bruce Welch on the phone, absolutely incredible. Thank you.